proclaimed to be back soon. Now I move into our next segment with tremendous excitement. As someone who used to make a living trying to prize any kind of statement from stoned rock singers, I can tell you they can be some of the dullest creatures walking, or barely walking, on the planet. So our next guest, he and his career, well, they've always had the comforting predictability of a skip full of wet dynamite. This man is different. And thus, he remains one of the most thrilling performers in modern music. Please welcome Shane McGowan. <laughs> You got here late, didn't you? I was trying to see you before the show. You know some people say, oh, Shane, probably not, he's probably show up. They say you might, might not show up. But you're, you're a pro. You, you've got this reputation for being nuts, but you're not nuts, are you? Um... <laughs> you are what? Nuts. Oh, a professional nut chaser. Yeah. A professional... No, see, I mean, you write some of the best songs about, right? And yet, everyone likes to think there's just one side of your character, which is the, you know, hard living or wild living, whatever. But... First and foremost, you are a great songwriter. Would you agree with that? More than all this other nonsense that's always written about you, yeah? Yeah, I, mean, I don't like the booze. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was, yeah, so I think I've written a lot of good songs. Yeah. Are you booze now? London, are you drunk now? Am I drunk? Oh, yeah. I mean, are, are, are no, I'm, no, no, I'm not drunk. No? Not drunk. No, it's just for people out there might say, oh, even now he's gone. But uh, that always gets written about you. And I said, you know, they said, can we get shame again? And, and rightly or wrongly, people say, oh, he, he's uncontrollable. Do you yeah. believe that of yourself? No, because I, uh, I don't drink to get drunk. Yeah. You know what I mean? I drink, I drink to relax, you know? And also, and also it <coughs> breaks down people's inhibitions, like, um... And, you, you enjoy know, it, you and enjoy like, it. And, like, uh, and makes them more imaginative and stuff. Does it help like your writing then? How, uh, do you write under the influence, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Is it better? Have you tried the experiment? Say, I'm going to write sober and then I'm going to write booze. And is it usually the booze comes out better? Uh, no, I've never tried it like that. Because what I do, it's all the time, right? I mean, right now, Danny. Yeah. You know what I mean? You've had a couple. Like, You've right, a couple. right now, I'm sort of like getting ideas, you know. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, like. We'll see how it goes, you know, I mean, you know. Yeah, could you, I mean, I'm, as I say... No, saying, what I mean is, I'm, you know, I mean... You, I'm, I'm sort of thinking about... Is it a curse? Uh, I mean, either way of it. Is that, would you have been better if you'd have not been born? And I, I you know me, I, I ain't stuck it up yet. I'm glad I was born, I must admit. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not, not looking it. forward to dying either. Yeah, but that's the other thing about you, Shane. Yeah. People, people always say, oh, uh, Shane McGowan's got about two weeks. You must be aware when people say that. They always... Yeah, but I mean, you knew me in 1976, 1977. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, but even so, people regularly... And like... people were saying that then. Why are you like that then, Shane? Why? I mean, because you are, and I said, you're brilliant. I mean, in, in the literal sense of it, when you write stuff, it takes your breath away, right? And yet, you have this other, which people like to say, self-destructive side, but it's not. You say it's a creative side. Would you have been better if you were born a big dumb bloke? Do you, and you'd have enjoyed that more? A Would big you... dumb bloke? Yeah. Like, I mean, like you. <laughs> no, you're not a big... No, you're not... You're, no, you're not... No, you're not a big dumb no, no. You're not a big dumb you're it's a big it's smart bloke. It's just the advert, right? Jane, big, what can I tell you? Yeah, the advert. Yeah, I'll write that. I'll tell you about it. Oh, you yeah. see anybody who... Shut up! Listen, no, look, look, I'm, I'm trying to pop you up here. But, um, no, no, the thing is, I mean, like, I mean, I'll, I'll think of any sort of, like, like, uh... What? Songwriter, <coughs> novelist, power, painter, um, creative artist, of any, musician, of any description, I mean, like you know, who hasn't who hasn't had a funness for for a drink or, yeah. or something. So, are you, you proud know? of your? Uh, I mean, habits? I've been real enough. Yeah, I mean, like I'm not just talking about Charlie Parker or Brendan Behan or mm -hmm. or uh, Keith Richards or Brian Jones, God bless him, or Phil Lynott or. These or, are all people. Jimi who... Hendrix. I'm talking about Turner. You know, yeah. Turner. Yeah, and, did, and, you did, know, did it Turner. Most right. of the people you mentioned are dead. Turner was constantly drunk and sound and loaded. You know. 
Yeah, but so are a load of blokes sleeping in the gutters, you know. Uh, it does do make a creative person more creative. And a lot of the people you mentioned are dead. Does that bother you at all? <laughs> Does that bother you at all? Seriously. Well, I mean, a lot of people I mentioned are a lot young, older than I am. Well, there's all, well, I suppose so, but, you know... Like Turner, Turner died 200 years ago. <laughs> He'd be the first... No, all right, yeah. But, uh, no, I mean, like, no, I mean, uh, those people... No, I mean, it's sad, it's... But do you enjoy what you do? Do you enjoy uh, either the fame or the idea that you are part of the rock and roll pop world? Do you like that? Um, I enjoy in performing, I enjoy in front of audiences. I mean, I, I, I enjoy playing music with other people. You well, know I what I mean? I, what I don't get but you know, obviously I'd like to make, a, you know, a lot of money out of what I like doing. Yeah. So that I can do exactly what I want, and well, I. You do and pretty much what you want, don't you? Well, no. I mean, I'm, you know, I, I, you do do pretty much what you want. If nothing else, you are, as I said in the intro, something of a lone wolf and of a, literally maybe a dying breed of rock singers who don't talk the easy route. I mean, it's like they said about it, Neil Young: you can go to the middle of the road or you can go to the ditch. You very much live in the ditch. Yeah, whiskey in the ditch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You see, look, I'm sure That's a lot of people don't know you, you think know. you're an actor playing a part at the moment. They're not aware. No, seriously, I think so. I think, oh, it's some bloke playing a out of control rocker. They may be thinking that now. But in fact, some of the poetry you've written and the lyrics you write are way beyond, like, the charts or whatever. How can you do it when you appear to be on the edge of falling over all the time? How can you do that? How is it done? Where well, do you I'm do sitting it? down at the moment. I mean. <laughs> Thank God for it, I'm saying. But how do you do it? You, you sit indoors and think, right, did it come to you out of nowhere? Is it a gift or do you have to work real hard at it or, or be sober for ten minutes or what? Um, it's, well, um, it's definitely, I mean, I've definitely got, got a talent for it, you know what I mean? Yeah, same. Right? But I know lots of other people who've got a talent for it who've never, who've never, deva who've never developed it. You know what I mean? It's what you write is as near to poetry as we're going to get in our generation, I think, right? It is, isn't it? Well, it's lyrics, you know. No, no, you're lyrics. I think you know, by the word. It's poetry. Sometimes you write that stuff. I mean, you said Prairie Tower, New York. It's a wonderful thing. And yet the two things don't weigh up. I mean, people look at you and they say, how does he do it, this fellow? It's, it's like uh, in Rain Man, Dustin Hoffman. There's this fellow who seems to be out of control. Who can come up with this wonderful stuff? No, no the guy in Rain Man is a moron. <laughs> well, he appears to be a moron. Well, I mean, he isn't really. Sometimes you do, Sean. He's got a system, you know. But sometimes you do. People think, oh, he's just this guy who don't care. He just boozes and he's not got a great respect for it. That's what I'm saying. How much respect do you have for what you've got? No, well, I just don't take myself that seriously. Are you easy to deal with, would you say? I mean, because there's a the famous you had to run in with your own band and they said they got fed up and I know it's all over and that now. But generally, from record company ends of it and meeting deadlines, are you easy to deal with, would you say? Yeah, we're well, easy, really easy person to deal with, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know you're actually in relationships and stuff. But today, when we said you was on the show, and this week when we knew he was coming on the show, and it wasn't just me, other people noticed this, a lot of women went, wow, Shane's on. Now, traditionally, you're not a good-looking fella, but you're something of a babe magnet. <laughs> a lot of women, are you aware of that? A lot of women find you irresistible for whatever reason. Are you aware of that? I've noticed. It's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jane McGowan. Thanks, mate. Yeah. Thanks for that. Good job.